<laughs> Welcome to my dorm. <laughs> When you first walk in, you see the living room, and this is where we've kind of made the dorm a little bit more homey with the, with the blankets and the pillows. We brought in an extra couch, very temporary. The dorm doesn't come with that couch um, for movie nights and stuff like that. Oh, you also have my, my beautiful plant. I've named him Vincent. He is starving right now. Sometimes we spend time out here and watch TV and stuff. Um, right here we have our closet where we hang most of our coats and we have boxes and the vacuum and it's just, if you have something random, you just throw it in there. Over here is where I think everyone spends a decent amount of time because we're all always eating. <laughs> Right here we have the table with our grill, which I make turkey burgers with, and then our microwave, the toaster, and the blender. The, the dorms don't come with these items, so you have to provide them for yourselves, but all of these things are pretty essential in my book, so yeah. Best getting a bigger trash can for a kitchen environment because that overfills really fast. Right here we have the oven and the stove with the hood vent, which prevents the fire alarm from going off, which is really nice because it's really loud. And here we have our plates and bowls. And underneath we have our pots and pans and cutting boards. Up here we have a bunch of cups and mugs. I think we all have kind of a problem with cups. <laughs> we all like need our own cups. Here is where happiness lives if you can afford food for yourself on the weekends because sometimes you can't. Right here is different from last year's dorm that I was living in because there was only one sink in my dorm. Now we have two so it allows for everyone to have space and not just one person, which is really cool. Um, but this, there's no sink inside the bathroom part, so that's what's different. Don't wear shoes in the bathroom. We're very strict about that. All right, this is the bathroom. We've kind of kept with a, like a gray blue theme in here just because it looks nicer. Um, we replaced the top shower curtain that the dorms come with because it's just not as cute, but we, all, we kept the back just so water doesn't leak out. And um, we've made this pretty aesthetically pleasing because brick wall, you need some just pizzazz, you know? But in these drawers, we keep toilet paper and just other bathroom essentials and cleaning supplies sometimes. And then we have the throne. Yes. This is the pantry. Um, a lot of people use this closet for a lot of different things, but we use it as a pantry. Um, it looks like we have a lot of food here, but this is actually not a lot of food. So, so yeah, that's what we keep in there. This is Sienna and Adele's room, and they're both polar opposites, but their sides really represent like who they are. But this is Sienna's side, which really shows how artistic and studious she is. She spends a lot of time in here, and she's really made it her own, um, so she feels really comfortable in here, which is good. And then this is Adele's side, which is very like crisp. And it just, if you know Adele, this really represents her personality. So this is my room. I share it with my friend, Yessie. Um, so yeah, and then last semester I made this with my friend, Maddie. Just some fitness inspiration that we did not stick to. We just put it up there. <laughs> but this is Yessie's side. She has like a really big red tapestry 
that makes her side just really beautiful and it kind of makes me sad sometimes because I look at mine and I'm just like, oh. But her desk, it's where she gets ready and stuff. She, I've never seen her do homework here. So yeah. <laughs> and then this is her closet. She claims that she doesn't have as many clothes as me, but it's a complete lie because she has so many clothes. And at the end of her bed, she also has some, some drawers which make the most out of the space because you don't really have that much space. So this is my side. I really like how I did it this year more than I did last year because I just think it's more me and more put together and not so just like, ugh. But Adele made me this beautiful schedule which tells me when to go to class and what classes I have online because sometimes I'm just a little confused. I get ready at this desk more than I do homework here, but I have my stuff here. This is probably my prized possession, and if you're an introvert or you just like to binge watch TV, I suggest getting a TV and bringing it to, to school. This is my closet. I just have a lot of sweaters because it gets really cold, and then I just have them in a lot of different colors because you never know how you're gonna feel, right? Um, in terms of like tips for dorm rooms, I really suggest getting command hooks, big ones and little ones, because they really make all the difference when maximizing your space. I also have drawers like Yessi to just store a lot of random things and kind of keep everything out of the way. Also, in basically all of our dorms, we all keep our laundry baskets underneath the bed just because it really makes it look a lot more clean and it keeps it out of the way just in case it starts to overflow, which does happen a lot. So I think that's it. I hope you liked my dorm. Thanks for coming. <laughs>